look good in that chair. Well, thank you. I mean, your hair looks good. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Say hi to my sisters on the phone. Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you? The group is new fire. It's going to be on the show pretty soon. Hey, we'll see. We're going to go downstairs. All right. Thank you. Have a great time. Bye-bye. Bye. From Nashville, Tennessee, it's the Dino Show. I can't believe I still have my earphone on for my telephone. <laughs> <laughs> I talked to Chris, my sister, just before, you know, when we met right, fire. Right. Oh, hello, how Hi. are you? So <laughs> nice to have you join us again. You know, we love showcasing. You know, Denver. Hey, Denver. Hey, Denver. how's it going, Dina? Yeah, it's still red. <laughs> I'm still Hasn't changed red. color at all. Red as always. Good to have you guys. Thanks. Denver, the Mile High Orchestra. Thanks. Always love that intro and always the special tune that you play, which you're going to play pretty soon. But Denver, we got something special. What's that? Before we showcase a new group, mm -hmm. okay, titled New Fire, we uh, we finally got Cheryl to sing on our show. All right, that's I mean, what I'm past about. due. Come on, Cheryl, huh? Well, I'm excited to do this. Y yes, it's always great to be able to sing praises to the Lord, and this is what I'm going to do. And the song I'm going to sing talks about a new creation yes. in Christ Jesus. Yes. Okay, so Lulu, you're going to join. You want to clap along, tap your toe? Come on, let's go for it. All right.
fantastic song about the truth of the message of God. Guys, let's do a groovy song about a truth about the heart of God today, too. Today we're going to get down. We're going to put ourselves, humble ourselves before him, saying less of me in my life and more of Jesus Christ in my life. Today we're going to get down. Come on, fellas. Come on. Yeah. My heart's ambition with no submission. I'm blinded by greedy eyes. My pride I kept defeating, my mind I kept to needing some truth beyond the lies. So tell me who's really running the show? I found that when I let my go, it's time to get down to the ground and lift him high to the sky. With less of me and more of Christ, get down to the ground and lift him high to the sky. I think it's time I to stand by. It's time to get down. Come on now. It's time to get down, get down, get down. It's time to get down, get down, get down, get down, and get down, yeah. Get down, get down, and get down. Get, 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 get down, get down, get down. It's time to get down to Jesus and get down, get down, and get down. Said I wanna, wanna, wanna get down, get down, get down, and get down, man. enjoying the show so far. You know, we have a new group that's going to be singing for you. You're going to love them. And uh, they have a debut album. Uh, the title of the group is New Fire. And their song that they're going to sing right now from that album is Almost Home. Enjoy. I'll say a prayer for you, but you moving on. I can see the lights of home as the evening shadows fall, and I know it won't be long till I hear my father call.
You know, it kind of takes me back to, uh, what can I say? What do they say? Things come around eventually, you know, the, the styles and what, what have you. What comes around? You know, back in Los Angeles years ago, uh, uh, Love Song. Have you ever heard the Love Song? You know what I'm talking about? You have that, that same kind of sweet presentation in your music. It's very, very nice. You know, we heard about you through Denver and the Mile High Road Manager, Eric. He said, you got to have these guys on the show, and uh, he was right. Nice to have you. Yes, well, thank we'd you for like having you here. Yeah, really, really let's, nice let's introduce the members of the group here. Okay. Introduce well, yourselves, if you will. Or ourselves? Go ahead. Uh, well, hello, my name is Allison Fiery. Allison. And this is my husband, almost a, of a year, almost. Jonathan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. And I'm Jonathan Fiery. I'm Louis Drap. Okay. Well, we're so glad you're all here. Beautiful eyes, look. Yes, Get it close does. on those eyes. Pretty I mean, eyes. <laughs> very yes. pretty. Right you, your singing is uh, very lovely, as I said, and uh, that Almost Home uh, song, that, uh, t tell us what that, that really means. What is that about? Well, you know, um, I, I actually penned that song landing on an airplane in Tulsa, Oklahoma, of all places. Uh -huh. That's where I'm from, and um, right. I was coming in off a trip. I've done music for a few years, and I was just ready to be home. I was tired, and, yeah. and um, I saw a, a big... A glowing sign to a Mexican restaurant. It reminded me of home. I said, I'm oh, really? the home. Mexican restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> and so landed there, and, and um, I kind of penned the first part of that, and then uh, got to thinking a little bit about heaven and our eternal home and, and how it's, you can actually miss a place you've never been before. And uh, right. eventually we're going to get there. So that's how that song yeah. came about. For that's sure. wonderful. That's very, that's great. I like that thought. <laughs> so every time we land, we can. We can sing, sing that song. Right? Yeah, Almost a Mexican home. restaurant. Almost yeah. <laughs> I think, I, I think of the Greek restaurants, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, Jonathan, um, you play guitar for FFH, is that right? Yes, ma'am. Oh. And uh, how long have you been playing? Well, um, I've been playing kind of on my own for about seven, eight years. I, I was raised in music, and I've been with FFH for almost two years. Um, they kind of brought me to Nashville and got me started, and, and uh, uh -huh. I've just been real glad to be with those guys and, and enjoy what I do. Do you like classical guitar playing? I do. I, I can't play it very well, but yeah. I enjoy listening yeah, to it. Yeah, me too. We yeah. Do. I love it. I really yeah. do. Well, you do have a very fine job. Well, thank you. And that gentleman right over there he's not saying a whole lot is he <laughs> I usually don't. like who are you <laughs> where did you come from no uh so you're from originally where i'm from tulsa as well oh also oh, from tulsa yeah. okay yeah. me and Very jonathan good. go a long ways back his dad used to have a music store and i worked there oh i see he even gave jonathan lessons when he was a little kid and oh so now we just no play kidding. together for fun so, <laughs> so do you play classical guitar no okay it is good stuff. <laughs> yeah it's very very good stuff i love well, it who has inspired you musically well you know um my inspirations are a lot different. My parents kind of raised me um, on some of the old gospel stuff, and then they got me into little James Taylor and some of the folk really? stuff yeah. down Denver. Yeah. Um, but to be honest, I like, just like the contemporary Christian stuff, yes. you know, kind of the late 90s, yeah. Yeah. Um, Out of the Gray, West King, yeah. uh, Jars of Clay, and some of those contemporary groups. But I also right. dipped into a little bit of the folky James Taylor and Dan Fogelberg and some of those guys, too. That's, well, that was pretty good inspiration, <laughs> I'd say, quite a few. Um, the next song you're going to do... Uh, well, it has a special meaning. Can you tell okay. us about that? Yeah, um, you know, this past, uh, I think it was February, we got in contact with a musician named Wes King. Um, Wes King was real popular back in the 90s. And yes. He just wrote tons of great songs and just very talented. Right. Um, and Wes got cancer a couple years ago. Um, just kind of a rare form, and, they, and he almost died. Actually, clinically died a couple times, I think. Um, but Wes had actually wrote this song, and they, oh, um, a bunch of people here in Nashville got together and said, we need to put together an album for Wes, and kind of as a tribute to him. And, you know, let's pay off some of his medical bills with what we make on okay. it. Let's just all get together. So this song was actually on that. Um, and the song became real to us because, um, you know, we were going through some hard, difficult times and trying to get a marriage off the ground and figure out how it works. Right. And, and Wes went through um, a pretty hard thing himself, so this song kind of was real to all of us. So this is for anyone who's watching right now who's going through some uh, difficult times, all right? Yeah, be praying for Wes. Yeah. He's doing better. He's okay, good. He's doing good. strong, good. Um, but hey, there's a yeah. you know, long road ahead of him. We believe God can heal. Yes, we uh, yes, what, Was it cancer? It was cancer. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, we've heard of cancers being healed, so we're praying for that for sure. Well, okay, you. so sing for us, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, New Fire singing Magnificent Defeat. Oh, yeah. All right. My purse 
It's always great to showcase new uh, artists and and a new fire. Yeah. Just sweet spirit, mm-hmm. right? Very I sweet. Like it, yes. Yeah. Well, Lovely. it's been an interesting show. I mean, uh, what made it even better than ever is that you sang "New Creation." Well, thank you. It was you. good. Thank you very much. The guys much. in the band are saying, "Go, girl, go, girl." <laughs> That's good. You know. <laughs> Denver asked me how long I've been singing since I was five. Yeah. Started you and Gary McSpadden. Duets sure. with my brother on the radio when I was five. You know, we travel quite a bit, and uh, we've been to many wonderful churches and auditoriums throughout the United States. And yes. It's amazing the music that's requested for me to play. Uh, you know, I do that, that moment when it's just me at the piano. Uh-huh. And uh, just the other night, I was playing uh, this medley, and someone called out, What about that Audrey Meyer song, His Name is Wonderful? Oh. Hadn't played it for a long time. You know the one that goes like, uh, His name is. His, yeah, that's a wonderful one. Remember? His name. The lyrics to that are wonderful too. And of course, I love playing songs that speak about the name of Jesus. There's something about that name, Jesus. You know. <laughs> I don't know why I try singing, but that's okay. You know. I like hearing you sing. You so many great songs. One of our uh, uh, Branson shows one time. Do you remember that? Yes. Well, that's a lot of never we did a part, duet, sure. didn't we? Yeah. It was wonderful. Well, you Cheryl, know, I, I don't know if our viewers uh, are aware of our Branson show, oh, but uh, we hopefully could. they are. We're in Branson, Missouri. We are. You know, uh, once a year we do our Christmas show. Yes, we do. December first, and just the beginning of. They can uh, check the website. No, excuse me, November first. November first, right? 
Branson, can you believe Christmas November 1st? I know. But it's very busy in Branson about but that it time. it is, yes. It sure and, is. And, you know, it's it's really wonderful that the, the shows there, oh, I love that. It's like Christmas music. <laughs> the shows there do uh, honor God. And uh, yeah, we always get to lift up the name of Jesus, and we thank the theater owners there that give us opportunity. And we always take the time to present the true meaning of Christmas. Yes, we do. That God sent His Son to this earth to be born in a lonely manger, but then He grew up to become the Savior of this world and soon coming King. Yes. That's the message right yes, there. Yes, amen. We don't have much time, so do you have a thought have... you want to share? Well, um, sure. Proverbs 16:3 says, Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and your plans will succeed. And Proverbs 16:9 says, In his heart a man plans his course, but the Lord determines his steps. We, we need to take the time with the Lord Jesus, and then we'll know his plan. One of our viewers uh, sent us this wonderful little poem, but I don't know if I have time to oh, give it. Little, little bit. Okay, it's called, Thank You, Irma Crow, for doing that. And if others of you have poems or something you'd like me to share, I'd like to consider it. The Lord and I, we had a chat, and I told him what to do. He listened kindly. And then he said, but here's my plan for you. I said, my schedule's all made out. I, I've organized, just see. Each, each hour I filled with this and that for he and she and me. Your vision's short. Your ears are dull. Your mind's a clump of clay. I know, no, no, that I am God. Trust my design, I've ordered for your day. The Lord and I, we had a chat. He told me what to do. I listened kindly. Then I said, thanks God mm. for plans from you. Those plans will always succeed. Thank you, Mrs. Crow. And you know, it, it's perfect to take a little time and listen to what God has to say and your day will be perfect in its entirety because God plans perfection into our lives. He plans success for all of us. And it's awesome. You know, there's a successful group over here that play in our show. Who are you talking about? I'm talking about Denver. Oh, Denver. And the Mile yeah, High Orchestra. Yeah, they're great. They're, they're awesome. great. Oh, man, I'm telling you, God is using their lives tremendously, yes. no doubt about it. And, and, and the DVD they put out. It's wonderful. You know what I like about that DVD, uh, about the ministry part? You know, it, it's a a lot of wonderful, great songs they play at the beginning, and it's kind of entertaining, which is great. You know, there's nothing wrong with being an entertainer. You know, I, no. But anyway, uh, but near the end, there's praise and worship. We kind of can do that sometime on our show. Yes. It was absolutely awesome. But I'm glad you guys took the time to watch us this week. Yes. Well, again, we don't take it for granted. Thank you for watching us week after week. The guests we bring, we showcase we new gro groups that we love yes. to do, you yes, know, like we did. we did with New Fire. So anyway, thank you so much for joining us. God bless you. Us. Yes, and, and write Emails, us. Email write us. us. And, uh, God bless you. They give you the desires of your heart. Bye-bye. We'll see you. Yes, I have been redeemed by His grace and my debt is paid.